Rotary International in Great Britain and Ireland is an association of members, clubs and districts. Rotary is a worldwide organisation with 1.2 million business professionals and community leaders as its members. Young Chef is a cooking competition held by Rotary throughout Britain and Ireland in which young people are tasked with preparing a free course meal. The competitions are staged as regional and national finals. This district or region comprises Hampshire, Dorset, East Wiltshire, the Isle of Wight and the Channel Islands. Winners from the Young Chef competition will gain entry into the national final. It starts off with some 40 odd kids getting together to produce food which I never was able to produce when I was that age. I think this opportunity is great for young people. It's helped me learn how to deal under pressure and improve my cooking skills. It's something to boost my confidence, help me further my career. Because it um, opens your eyes to what career path you could have in the future. It's given me a chance to discover what it's like in a proper kitchen somewhere else other than home or school. They've got the skills, Young Chef gives them opportunity to take those skills further and improve on those skills. For the young chefs in the kitchens today, you will find there will be people, if you've got a problem, who are going to stand there and give you help and guidance. I have concerns about, you know, the ovens and the, and the, and the, and the, uh, the hot plates, so everyone's going to be looked after. If at any time you have a problem, ask for some help. There's plenty of people there. Don't feel as young chefs that you've forgotten an ingredient or you haven't got a bowl, a measuring jug, a spoon, a sieve. Someone will sort it out for you. Your job is to be a young chef today. Morning everybody. Again, thanks so much for coming along today, especially to the competitors, the supporters and the Rotary Club for organising today's event. We'll talk quickly then the judges today. I introduce Mr Beavis, experienced um, competitor and judge from Highbury College. Richard Burnett's one of our judges today and my colleague Matthew Parkins is going to give us a hand also with the organising and the judging. On to the actual competition, we've all competed, we know, we know what it's like, alright? The logistics are the hard bit, you know, packing all your gear up, getting it all down here today, that's the hard bit. The cooking bit is easy, that's what you've come down here for now, you should all know your dishes inside out, so we're expecting some really high standard dishes today. Don't be intimidated by the judges. If you see us walking around making notes, we're not marking you down. We're looking to give you marks, all right? But don't make it easy for us to not give you marks. Make sure if you're serving some hot food, make sure it goes onto a hot plate, okay? Check your seasonings, check your tastes, okay? Take a few minutes for presentation, and please try and get all your work done in that two hours, all right? If the time's um, pushing on, we'll give you time checks. We'll tell you half an hour gone, hour gone, hour and a half gone. Once you get to that sort of period where you think, cool, I'm not going to make it, get something served, get something dished up, all right? Even if, even if it's not quite what you had in mind when you came down here. Well, for starters, I've got a layered salmon mousse, a uh, layered salmon mackerel mousse. For starters, I'm doing broccoli soup with goat's cheese. For the starter, I am doing goat's cheese, uh, especially, I can't really explain it or, not, or think, but it's, for the starter, it's actually re uh, really special goat's cheese. For the main, I'm doing um, a rack dorset lamb on um, raised beetroot and a rosemary lacta. Um, my main course is a balsamic glazed chicken breast um, with spring onion mash. The main course is pigeon breast on a warm salad. My pudding, I'm doing rhubarb tart, ginger wine and brandy sauce. Dessert, my secret weapon, which I'm, it's my favourite dish. Uh, Yorkshire pudding uh, stuffed with fruit compote. With... Sweet cream on the side. For my dessert, I've got Hanatonian raspberry bread and butter pudding served with chantilly cream. The orange cake because it's light, bittersweet, and goes really well with the fig and raspberry compote. Probably my poached pears, so a lot of flavour in it. 
I'm going to say my lemon green tart is pretty awesome. <laughs> I'd say the lamb is probably my favourite one. The, the, pear, the pear cider and black and jelly is, is very, very good though. Um, that's, that's what I think will make the difference. Judges will be looking to give marks on good organisation, presentation and time taken to cook the food. It would be brilliant if I won. I've trained a lot. My teachers, all my teachers at school are rooting me on, so it would be amazing. I'd be really happy, and everyone else would too. If I won, it would be really, really amazing. It would be a great experience even if I don't win. If I won, it would mean quite a lot because of all their effort and hard work to put in. Ladies and gentlemen, Rotarians, most particularly uh, competitors, uh, thank you very much indeed for all your efforts today. Parents, thank you for bringing these young people to, uh, to compete and I'm sure that they will have gained a lot from the experience. We've had 17 uh, young chefs here today, including people from, uh, from, from Guernsey and Alderney. Uh, so I thank you very much indeed for, uh, for that and, and also one from the Isle of Wight. The uh, age range of the, the young people is 11 to 16, so there's a big age range and there's, uh, there'll be uh, a lot of difference in experience uh, and I'm sure that the, the judges will be uh, taking consideration of that. OK, once again, just to reiterate what Nigel said there, really, really high standard of entries today. It really means a lot to us here at East Eater host this competition. It's the fourth year running now we've done it. Um, it's great just to see young people cooking and it's fantastic to see all these parents come on to support us here. I know quite a lot of you have had quite a long way to travel. Um, I hope it's been worth it. I hope you had the time to have a look at some of the dishes they prepared. It really is, you know, it's eye-catching, it's innovative, it's refreshing to see. The, uh, the judges felt today that they would like to make an award for the best effort and today that uh, recognition is for Grace. Today's runner-up, who will go forward to the regional competition next month, is Dylan James. And finally, the district uh, young chef this year is Jacob. This year we'd like to nominate our reserve for the uh, regional final and that will be Louis. Okay. Hopefully what you've seen here today will inspire you to do something just like this. So why not try Young Chef in your school?